Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh's YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to create grids and how to create views in Tecla structures with example. Now this PDF example is available in my website. Please go to my website. I will provide this link in the description below of this video. Please go through it and come here and scroll it down. You can see now I have PDF example at here. Practice this example along with this video. Okay, let's start. Open Tecla structures with Indian environment. Now we're going to open example. So let's take, in our example, we have the plan like this. Now we have grids in horizontal, six grids, and in vertical, we have up to E grids with the spacing. You can see now we have spacing 5,000, 6,000, 5,000, and 7,000, and 5,000 in horizontal way. Similarly, in our vertical, I have grids 4,500, 5,500, and 5,000, and 4,500. Okay, now I'm going to create this grid according to this design. Now, let's open our Tecla structures. To edit the grid, double click on this grid. You will get this property window, grid property window here. You can see in X direction. Currently, we have uh, grids A, B, C, and uh, but we required 1, 2, 3, like in our example, you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 grids. So let's take here in X direction labels 1, space 2, space 3, space 4, space 5, space 6. Similarly, in the Y direction, in our example, we have A2 up to E grid. So we need to enter here in Y direction capital A space B space C D and E okay now coming to Z direction we need in the we need to open elevation example you can see in our elevation view we have ground level 0 and first floor 5000 and second floor we have 12,000 level and this is the 18,000 level Okay, we need to enter according to these labels. So let's take first label, ground level, plus zero and give space. And first floor we have 5000. So enter here, plus 5000 and give space. And next floor we have 12000. So enter here, plus 12000 and give space. And next floor we have 18,000 so enter here plus 18,000 millimeter okay now click on modify now we need to enter the value spacing between the grids for example you can see uh, let's open plan view we have first grid at zero coordinate here so we need to take the first value as a zero and give space uh, now now have second grid at 5000 spacing so enter here 5000 and give space 6000 next value 6000 spacing and give space and zoom out next we need to enter 5000 and give space next value now have 7000 enter here 7000 and give space next value we have 5000 like this now coming to y direction zoom out and zoom in here let's take hand to now let's take first spacing y value should be 0 and second grid have with the spacing of 4500 so enter here 4500 and give space let's take the next value 5500 and the next value we have 5000 and 4500 okay similarly we need to enter in the z direction elevation view so open elevation example here first is the zero so ground floor is the zero and give space and first floor is the 5000 so we need to enter here spacing 
5000 and give space i need to enter right click on mouse and select this hand tool better to move around this pdf file so next value we have 12000 from ground level so enter here 12000 and give space and the next floor we have 18000 now click on modify to see the result you can see now have grids in the horizontal direction six grids and in vertical direction we have a b c d e according to this design information you can see one two three two six and here in width wise we have a b c d e like in this model okay now close this window here now right click almost interrupt you can see now this model box is the off of this grid now we need to fit the work area so click on space right click on mouse fit work area to entire model you can see now this model box is the outside of this grid like this okay now I'm going to create views so click on grid right click on mouse create views and along grid lines you can see now in xy direction is the plan view and remaining zy you can see this is the zy view this is z and this is y is the elevation view and similarly second one is the xz x and z direction is the elevation view so we need to type here elevation elevation on grid and similarly we need to enter here also elevation on grid okay according to grids uh, it will be take uh, 1 2 3 and a b c d similarly in the plan view also 0 and uh, remaining plan views like 5000 and 12000 and 18000 18, okay now click on create click on okay and click on okay now we have created views to open views use a shortcut control i you can see now we have view list here elevations on grid 1 2 3 according to how many grids you have you will get uh, that many elevations here similarly planets also planet 0 planet 12000 planet 18000 okay like this now close this window here you can use also shortcut control i for view list and uh, alternate method we have click on window and select this view list here to open this view list and remaining click on view and select this view list to open this view list like this now we have three methods to open view list better to use the shortcut control i for open view list like this okay for example if you want to see on planet zero use the shortcut control i and scroll it down and select this planet zero and click on this arrow to open planet zero view like this okay click on this window you can see now currently we have at planet zero level okay now i'm going to check the dimensions between the grids according to this design information we need to cross check uh, with this design information so click on this edit and select this measure and select this horizontal distance and zoom it here click the first point here and pick the second point and place the dimension here to you can see now we have the spacing between these two grids should be 5000 and cross check with the design here 5000 similarly we're going to check remaining dimensions also so pick the first point and second point and click on here to place the dimension do the same procedure for remaining grids like this now coming to the in vertical direction so click on this measure and select this vertical distance and pick the first point here and pick the second point and place the dimension here you can see now we have 4500 similarly we're going to do like this okay right click on must interrupt now we're going to cross check with the design information so first uh, spacing we have 5000 and the second spacing we have 6000 and uh, next 5000 next 7000 and the last one is the 5000 you can see now coming to in vertical direction zoom out here and zoom in here now we have dimension in, in this direction 4500 and the second one is the 5500 
uh, next one is the 5000 and uh, next one is the 4500 okay now coming to the elevation view so click on this window and select this view list and let's take elevation on grid a and click on this arrow to open elevation on grid a click on window you can see now currently we are activated this window elevation on grid a now i'm going to check this elevation uh, spacing from first floor to second floor and second floor to third floor similarly you can see now for example open the example elevation view you can see from ground to first floor we have 5000 so now i'm going to check in this design click on measure and select this vertical distance and pick the first point here and pick the second point and place it here you can see now we have 5000 spacing now next floor we have 12000 from the ground so from ground to click on here second point and place it here you can see now we have 12000 now coming to next floor 18000 in our design so pick the first point here and pick the second point and place it here now it should be 18000 level okay right click on mouse interrupt uh, to erase this dimension checking dimensions click on space right click on mouse to draw view similarly click on window and set this plan view you can erase this dimension so click on space right click on mouse to draw view okay like this to open 3d view click on window and select this 3d view you can see currently we are in 3d view okay that's it about how to create grids and how to create views in tecla structures with the example if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash gany sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tecla structure related videos i hope this videos might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you